All right, guys, so you ever want to, or in my case, need to take a self-portrait, but you don't have anyone around to like help you out, you know, just to make it really easy? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a super easy way to do that using the photo capture feature via the Sony cameras, in my case, Sony A7C. So here I am with my Sony A7C, and the first thing I need to do is bring up the video that I recorded that I'm going to harvest my self-portrait from. Trying to take a self-portrait, right? So look up a little bit. Two thumbs up. Let me show you how to do that. Just go into the playback menu. And what you're gonna to need to do is navigate to your video. Now you might have to scroll up and down to find your video, but this is the only thing I have on my memory card, so it just came up by default. So now that I have the video selected, if I hit the menu button, right there, and I go into playback, and on page two of three, you can see right there, there's a option called photo capture. I'm gonna select that, and now it brings me to that video. So what I need to do now is use this navigation wheel, you could see the little symbols there on that icon, and find the frame that you want for your photo. So the easiest way to do that, I find, is to just do slow playback like this, and then pause it when you get to where you think you're gonna be. So I'm just watching it and I'm just trying to wait for myself to smile. Something like that right there. I'm gonna steal that picture. So notice on the bottom of this little diagram, there's a, a picture of like a film and then an arrow. That's what's gonna actually do the photo capture. So watch when I press this bottom button. It says processing and then the photo is captured. So let me scroll through and see if I can find, let me hit play again, see if I can find anything better. Another one looks pretty good. Save that one. Right there looks good. With the thumbs up shot. Push that one. All right, so now if I go into the playback menu and I turn, you can see here's the photos. There you have it. So those are the captures. Pretty sweet, right? All right guys, so a prerequisite to this bonus section, you really have to have the Imaging Edge app installed on a smart device of some sort, either your cell phone or your tablet. Also, I highly recommend watching this tutorial that I created. It'll explain how the app works. It is kind of finicky, so um, please make sure you do that first, and then this bonus section will be you know, much, much smoother. So let me show you something really cool now. Let's just say I wanted to share these photos right now on social media. The easiest way to do that is to hit this button right here, the function button, which is also the push to smartphone. So let me hit that and I'm gonna hit multiple images, like so, or you can just select that one image. All right, so I'm gonna notice there's a little checkbox there. I'm gonna check this one, check this one, and check this one, check that one, and check that one. All right, so we're good to go there. So they're marked, so I'm gonna hit the menu button for enter. And it's gonna say execute. All right, I'm gonna hit enter. And now it's putting the camera in Wi-Fi standby. So I'm just gonna take my smartphone here, Samsung Galaxy S8 in case you're wondering, and I got the Imaging Edge app there. So what I'm gonna do first though, because the camera is in Wi-Fi standby, I'm gonna to wanna to connect to the Wi-Fi network for the A7C first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, I'm gonna long press on that, and then I'm gonna to go to my Wi-Fi settings and I'm gonna look for the A7C, and there it is. See the A7C? So I'm gonna to connect to that. Now I'm gonna launch the app. It's just warning me that I might not be connected to the internet. The reason why I did it the way I did it is because my phone was already connected to my home network. And if it's already connected to a network, the app gets confused and you might have to go in and out a few times. So I just like connecting first. Now you might not be able to do that though if you never connected your camera. So you could see I have a bunch of cameras in this list. So all I have to do is hit start. You might not have all these options. You might have to hit this plus button here to connect a new camera. I'll show you that in a second. But for me, I'm gonna hit start. And there it goes, it's copying over all the photos. Items copied, okay. So now if I go into my gallery here, and there are the photos. So I got that one, that one. I like that one, I think that's pretty good. All right, so let me just show you quickly how you would send a photo if you've never connected to the Imaging Edge map before. So this time I'm just gonna do this image. So I hit that button first in playback mode. I'm gonna do this image. It puts the camera in Wi-Fi standby. Now notice how it came up with that QR code. That's what we're gonna to need to use. All right, so I just launched the app here and now I'm just gonna pretend that the camera is not in this list, like as if it's the first time you're doing it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to hit this plus button right here. So hit that plus button 
and it's going to ask you select the camera model name to register. It's asking us if we're registering the A7 IV and we're not. So let me go register other model and then it's just saying scan QR code. So we're going to do scan QR code, hit that and it'll bring the camera up, see? So now I just got to hold this above the camera and it says scanning complete, connect to the camera, okay. And now it's saying the smartphone is already connected to another wireless a uh, network, blah, blah, blah. But as you can see here, it worked and it just copied the image over. So you might have to close the app and reopen the app, but basically what you have to do is you have to establish that Wi-Fi connection and then you will see the camera in this list here. And when you go to share the photo, all you have to do is hit that start button like I did in the beginning. So it's super easy once the camera's in this list. And that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you got something out of this video. I will catch up with you next time. Take care.